What's in the box, you ask? Well, hey, you got to stick with me and see. It's well worth it. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Shop Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to share with you what's in this box. We're going to do a little bit of a brief unboxing and a little bit of rambling as to why I purchased this. So one of the things that I've been doing throughout the 20, actually all the 2019 and now into 2020 is building a couple new shops. So one basically a machine shop for my CNC's, lasers and that kind of stuff and another for all my electronic stuff because again I want to kind of separate you know the dirty dusty stuff from the obviously clean electronic stuff and uh, also it worked out kind of economically to do the two separately so I'm going to do a whole episode on the whole shop build process my thinking and all that because I think it's probably worthwhile uh, especially for somebody else thinking about doing the same so but with that one of the things I needed to really I could say stack up my electronics end a little bit and so one of the things I needed was what's in this box and you may be asking yourself what's in this box well let's open it up and see by the way we got our handy dandy maker knife with porcelain blade this is great this is the most expensive knife I've ever purchased uh, but it is pretty cool so anyways on to the opening Ooh, pretty. So here it is. We have a Siglet uh, SDS 1202 X-E digital storage oscilloscope. This is a 200 megahertz two channel unit. So I did a lot of homework before buying this and that's basically what I want to talk a little bit about. Why did I buy it? Well, also in full disclosure, I've got two Tektronic TDS scopes, older, uh, they're older scopes. One's a 400 megahertz four channel and the other's a 200 megahertz uh, two channel. However, what I really liked about this guy is a couple different things. One is it's pre-programmed to work with various bus structures like I2C, uh, UARTs, RS-232, um, CAN bus, a bunch of different buses. And that's one of the things I really want to do in the near future. In my day job, I deal at a high level with a lot of industrial IoT and things like that. And I just love experimenting with it. And that's one of the reasons I like to build CNC's, 3D printers, and things like that. Uh, so this does the job. So again, I did a lot of homework. We looked at a lot of different scopes. Uh, this was not the cheapest, but it was the best value for the money, I thought. I think it was a little sub 400 bucks. Um, the other piece that I really liked about it is this LAN port on the back because it do also has a web interface to this unit. So I can connect it to my network and access it from my computer to do various different tests. Now for making videos and things like that, I think that's really cool because I'd be able to get screenshots of that really easy, um, you know, instead of having to go to a USB drive because it does have USB connection. It does have a USB host connector. And I think as you also saw back here, it does have a USB host connection. So there's a couple different ways you can connect to it. Uh, and run various uh, softwares with this. It also has a fast FOIA feature that kind of acts like a poor man's spectrum analyzer. So you can uh, look at different waveforms in, uh, you know, it's probably the wrong way to, to different spectrums and in, in things like that on this that I can't do with my TDS scopes. So anyways, I'm really excited about this. I've had this for a while. I've had it in a box. Uh, I just haven't had time. This has just been really crazy, just getting everything built. Um, I've got a probably 1,000 to maybe 1,100 square feet of shop space altogether between the two shops. And building it all out, doing most of it myself, is really taking a lot of time. And it's one of the reasons I've been a little bit slow on videos. However, my goal in the long term really is to do a couple different things. One is to produce better, more interesting videos. I don't think that's proper English, but you guys get the idea. Um, because I'll be able to be set up to do more things quicker. Because that's the big challenge. I've got a full-time job. I hope to retire in a few years, but that's still a few years out. And, and so time is very important. So having sort of like Casey Neistat, everything in its place, 
everything set up, everything ready to go makes doing projects a lot easier and that's really what I want to focus on. The second piece is I want to turn this into more of a home-based business. I have been doing a home-based business based upon 3D printing, CNCing and laser cutting and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, I really wanted to pick this up because as you will see in some videos coming up here pretty soon so one of the things as you'll see in some upcoming videos pretty soon is I'm going to be messing around with a couple buses to bus structures communication structures to integrate some devices with 3d printing and CNC machining and that kind of stuff and I'm really looking to this guy for it to be helpful and to do that so if you've got one of these, let me know how you like it. If you got one like this, let me know how you like it if it's a different one. Let me know some specific use cases maybe you have for an oscilloscope of this nature. Also, what type of software, if you have one, are you using with it? I know there's a couple different uh, packages out there. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Swag Shop's up there. I'll have a link to this down below if you're interested in picking one up too. And hey, subscribe's over there and stay tuned. A lot coming with this guy. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.